so hello guys and welcome to my channel today again i am back with another important numericals on numerical methods and today in this lecture we will discuss the important numericals based on Poisson's equations so here we have the equation as solve the Poisson's equations del square f equals to 2x square y square over the square domain of 0 less or equals to x less or equals to 3 and 0 less or equals to y less or equals to 3 with function f equal to 0 and the boundary and s is equals to 1. So here we have given the position equation as del square f equal to 2x square y square and the boundary and the square domain is given as here 0 less or equals to x less or equals to 3 and 0 less or equals to y less or equals to 3. So here from this condition we can draw this block as here since here you can see the value of x ranges from 0 to 3 and the spacing is given as s is equals to 1 so. and similarly for y 0 to 3 so here we have from x equal to 0 x equals to 1 x equals to 3 and, and up to x equals to 3 similarly for y it will be y equal to 0 y equal to 1 y equal to 2 and y equals to 3 and here we have given the value as f equal to 0 means here all side means this side the value will be 0 similarly at this side similarly at this side and similarly at this side and here now we can see here in order to calculate the value at f1 here we will use the pattern this plus pattern so uh, just uh, just like we, uh, we have sold the new we have sold one numericals in the laplace equations just we will use that patterns and here in order to calculate the value at f1 we will use here f1 so f1 will be this f2 this f3 and here we have calculating we are calculating the value at f1 so it will be minus 4 f1 and this value is 0 so plus 0 and again plus 0 and here we have the function as given 2x square and y square so here 2x square and y square so we are calculating the value at f means the, at this point means at f1 so at this point here we have at x is equals to 1 and this is at y equals to 3 means the coordinate will be here 1 comma 2 so in place of x it will be 1 and in place of y it will be 2 so 2x square y square so 2 into 1 square and 2 square so we will get the value of f1 as f2 plus f3 minus 8 upon 4 equation 1 since here one thing you have to notice that we are, we are calculating the value at f1 so uh, to calculate the value at f1 we are writing here at minus 4 f1 similarly at f2 we will use minus 4 f2 similarly at f3 we will use the same technique and here we can see here at similarly at f2 we have again we will use the same pattern here so at f2 we will use here at if you use this plus pattern so for this it will be f1 plus 0 plus f4 and at this point so it will be minus 4 f2 and equals to this coordinate means 2x square y square so at this point the coordinate is 2 comma 2 means at x equals to 2 and at y is equals to 2 here so we'll use x equals to 2 square and y equal to 2 square so we will get here f2 as f1 plus f4 minus 32 upon 4 similarly here at f3 we will use the same procedure as we have just now we have done for f1 and f2 so similarly if you solve for f3 we will get here f3 as f1 plus f4 minus 2 upon 4 Similarly, if we calculate the value for f4, we will get f4 as f2 plus f3 minus 8 upon 4. And this is equation 4. And since we can notice one thing here, here the value of f1 is f2 plus f3 minus 8 upon 4. And the value of f4 is also f2 plus f3 minus 8 upon 4. Since this equation 1 and this equation 
for RCM sir. So you can equate a equation one and equation two. So once you get equation one and equation two, since here we can write here f1 equals to f4. So we can solve for f1 as f1 equals to f2 plus f3 minus f1 4. So we have equation one this. Similarly, f2 will be 2 f1 minus 32 upon 4. So here. Here we have f2 is equals to f1 plus f4 minus 32. And since in place of f1 we have f4. So we have used in place of f4 we have f1. So the value of f2 will be 2 f1 minus 32 upon 4. Similarly, f3. So f3 is equals to f1 plus f4 minus 2. And in place of f4 again we have f1. So it will be 2 f1 minus 2 upon 4. And now we will solve these three equations for f1, f2 and f3. So you can simply solve this with the help of a gauss seidel methods and in order to solve this with the help of gauss seidel methods you can check the link in the description below or you can watch my previous video related on gauss seidel methods gauss seidel methods you can check the video you can go to my playlist and check the video for gauss seidel methods hope you enjoyed the lecture thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you